Hello, Michael here with another Redshift tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to render up a paint effects tree with Redshift. Um, this will work basically with any of the Redshift examples, but I'm going to use a tree for this particular tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Windows, General, General Editors and Visor. Uh, next, we're going to make sure that we're on the paint effects tab. I'm going to scroll down to trees. Actually, we're going to use tree mesh and we're going to use the oak white leaf. Um, you can use any of the examples, but I just like this one. And uh, with that selected, we're going to draw on our um, on our grid. Um, as you can see, I've already got a plane in the scene and I've also got a dome light in. All right, so that is our paint effects tree. This isn't actual geometry at the moment. Uh, we need to convert this to polygons before we can really get into shading it. So uh, we're going to have it selected and we're going to go to modify, convert and paint effects to polygons. So now we've got a polygon mesh for the trunk and for the leaves. Uh, if it does have animation, it will retain it. This particular example doesn't though. So now we're going to grab the hype shade editor. Um, and we'll select the leaves for the first part. We'll map them out. And you'll see that we've got our mass shader and its root node. Um, we're going to create a red shift material. And then we're just going to move all these nodes into our red shift material. So we'll start with the uh, oak leaf color into the, uh, sorry, we'll use the ramp without color into the diffuse. So the ramp is applying a um, ramp uh, gradient over our texture. Next we'll go to the specularity, um, specularity color into reflection color. And finally we'll disconnect the transparency. Um, we will use a slightly different method to create a uh, opacity map for the leaves. So now if we um, select the leaves, and assign the uh, material to those leaves. We can run a quick IPR and you'll see that the leaves have now shifted to be um, leaf color. However, they are squares, which we don't want. We just want the leaf um, to be sort of cut out essentially. So we can fix that pretty easily. Also at the moment, we're not really getting double-sided shading. Um, we can fix that as well in this process. So we'll jump back into the hype shade editor and the first thing we're going to add in is a red shift race switch. And this will now allow us to have uh, double sided shading. Um, so what we're going to do is run our out color of our red shift material into our camera color and then the out color from the race switch into the surface shader. Next we're going to select that red shift material, uh, duplicate it by control D and then we'll run the out color of that into the camera back color. So basically what this means is any um, plane facing the camera with its top side uh, will get this color and any back side of a plane for these leaves will get this back color. So we'll rename those to be leaf front and leaf back. We'll also run the diffuse color into the diffuse color and the spec into the, or the reflection color into the reflection color. And make sure that we reduce that weight of the reflection on each of those somewhat, otherwise it's going to be a bit intense. All right, next we need to make sure that the front back is enabled and we're going to add, add in our sprite node. So just hit tab, type in sprite, get redshift sprite. We're going to run the out color from the ray, ray switch into the input and then the output into our um, leaf shader. Now we need to select our leaves and make sure that we are using the um, sprite shader as their shader. And then we need to create an alpha map for our sprite. So we're going to use the um, leaf texture that is uh, just comes with Maya. So if you just double click on the image name under the file input node um, and then go back to your right redshift sprite node and paste that in, uh, you'll get 
the same image essentially. So if you wanted to use a different image, obviously if for your own custom leaf, you could do that. Uh, I'm just going with the default for this example. So back to the Redshift Sprite node, we're gonna change the opacity calculation to be from alpha. And now when we render it, you'll see that the leaves have opacity, to uh, have a transparency where there is no leaf. So that's cool. So we have a front and back shader. We can do a couple of things to vary the color of these leaves that now that we have um, a front and back. So back in the Hypershade editor, um, for our back leaf, which is now up the top, we'll change that. For our back leaf, which is the bottom shader, uh, we'll type in HSV and we'll get uh, remap HSV node. We'll run the out color from the ramp into that and then the out color into the diffuse channel of our leaf back. And um, basically what we're gonna do run that IPR and this is our remap HSV node we can change the hue so I'll go crazy so you can see that the um, now the back facing uh, leaves are red um, but I would generally just create a minor variation and then you could do something with the saturation if you wanted the back sides to be a little bit less saturated um, you could change the value as well so that's a really simple way of getting a little bit of leaf variation in your um, foliage. Uh, next, let's have a look at the trunk. So we'll select the trunk, we'll go to the Hypershade Editor, um, we'll map that out. And once again, we'll type in red shift material, we'll get a material no, uh, material, red shift material shader. And we'll run the out into the diffuse channel from the ramp, which is once again, creating a um, slight variation in the color on the V. So it's gonna be slightly darker at the base to a, a lighter at the, at the top. Uh, we'll delete the old material and we'll change this to be called trunk. We'll also create a bump map, run the out color from the file node into the input and then the out into the bump input. And to make this a little bit more, and we'll need to make sure that we assign that new shader as well to our tree trunk. Uh, and to show this bump map, I'm just gonna drop in a new light. All right, so we could increase the bump map height um, high, just as an example. And you can see now it's a little bit more obvious and um, you'll just have to play with this to find how much bump you want I'm gonna go with 0.2 for this example it's a pretty dense texture so um, I'd say less less is more in this example um, but yeah you sort of get the idea of how that's working and now the other good thing about using a back um, uh, a front and back face shader for our leaves um, is that you can once again go in and you can adjust um, each side of the leaf so you could say that maybe you wanted less specularity on the bottom side um, you could do stuff with uh, transparency and obviously once you're starting to get into transparency um, it's an overall uh, so opacity if you change the opacity you get a little bit more transmission through the leaves you could also um, put in a remap hsv node for your um, for your front side, if you want it to be more saturated, etc., etc. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you've got yourself a paint effects tree. Um, you just need to light it and uh, go a bit further on how you want it to be shaded and textured. You could even get rid of the base texture for your tree trunk and create your own um, seamless texture. And you could replace the texture that comes with it um, for your own type of leaf. Uh, if you're not happy with the one that it comes with. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure you click the like button to help other people find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed as I'm putting out a couple of tutorials every week for all sorts of CG products like Redshift and Maya, etc. 
Uh, if you're not already, make sure you're also following on Facebook as I post all the updates there and other fun things and you can ask me questions there as well. That's it for this tutorial though. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.